Hey world, welcome to the One Word Wednesday. This week, it's about gentleness. And like, I got one of the biggest, most gentle dudes in the history of the world, right? To be on our show today. I'm so excited. Get ready for this. Hey world, thanks so much for watching our show. If you are interested and you want to get one of these shirts, if you want to be swaggy with your speak love, we would love to have you. If you want to join our team and get on our Patreon, we'd love to have you too. Do me a favor, click the link below, like, pair, share, do all that kind of stuff, comment, and then come and check us out. We would love to have you as a part of our team. You're the fuel that keeps us going. Hello world, this is Nick Jackson and I'm so excited to have my high school and junior high school best friend on this show. This guy <laughs> is, he not only was the fastest dude in town, he was the toughest dude in town and he was my friend. Hey Blair, say hello to the world. What's up guys? I'm so blessed to finally be on this. I was wondering when you're ever gonna ask me to join you on this and, and here we are. I'm uh, so happy and excited to be a part of this. No worries, man. No, hey, this we had to find. So each week we pick a word, right? That depicts like the, the, the championship traits. And this week we chose the word gentleness. Now, the one thing that now, now I said you're the toughest, you were one of the toughest dudes in town, but, but yeah. you were also one of the most gentle guys I've ever met. Where does that yeah. come from? So one, I, I had um the the number one person, um, my brother. You know, the, the original gentle giant, yeah. you know, of course, you know, we all, all aren't perfect, but he was uh, such a big gentle giant, just a big old teddy bear. And with him being around and just seeing how how he was, that helped help big time, you know, and and also gentleness goes with with kindness and love. They all go hand to hand. And, you know, I'd rather have so much passionate towards being kind towards people and loving people than than hate man mm, i feel that man i remember the first time i got to meet your daughter like i remember i mean she was this i mean we called her just a little too oh, a little yeah. nugget just a little nugget at the time. <laughs> you know what i'm saying and like here 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 you come you know what i'm saying big dude you got arms you know what i'm saying like you're this big guy with this little baby girl you know i was scared to, i was so scared to hold her man i was i but then i thought you know if i it's my own child so if i drop her or hurt her you know that's 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 all me you, you but know no. your kids gonna be tough though that's what it <laughs> <laughs> yes yes and and i'm so 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 blessed that she's actually um she's instilled a lot of that that same gentleness and same kindness to um to others you know we've heard her um from teachers telling us there's been kids at lunch that have been sitting alone by themselves and she'll she'll go sit by them just to make sure they ain't they're not lonely and uh just to just to be with them you know to show that same same kind of love and and i, I love it Man, now how did that make you feel to know to know that your daughter is is keeping on the family tradition of loving other people? How did you feel about that? It melted my heart, man. It made me feel just as a proud parent, like like I'm doing I'm doing the right things. I'm showing her love and like you said, gentleness versus you know being angry and and hate. Show the world love. Yeah. No. No. Here's the thing. I played football with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I know for a fact. Hey, that's that's on the field. Me love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> how, did, how, did you turn, how did you turn this, like, aggressive running back? Like, how did you turn it on on the field and then and then so smoothly and, and easily turn it off when you're off the field? Like, where did that come from? You know, that is that is tough. And, you know, a lot of um, other athletes do that as well. Um, there's plenty of other gentle giants out there, as they call them. Um, it's just, it came naturally for me where it was, Hey, you know, I, I always even respected, you know, other people playing on the other side of me, you know, a lot of people we knew we were actually friends with and to this day, we're still, you know, friends if we see them, you know, but it was just all, all about fun to me versus, you know, you know, I got serious about it, but it was, it was fun and trying to be the best I could be. Mm. 
speaking about being the best you can be, um, I know there's been a lot of stuff going on in, on social media and in 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 our world, right? That yeah. When we grew up, there was there was a healthy amount of racism, and one yeah. Of the, one of the 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 conversations that I'll never forget was one where I was I was even thinking about getting into getting involved in some people that were going to be getting into a fight, and you you were like, no, we don't do that, you know? Yeah. I mean? And like, I I want to know where did that come from? Like, where did that wisdom, like, we don't, that's not how we operate. You know what I mean? Where did yeah. that come from? So as you know, we, you know, I, I was raised just by my mom, Mama T, but I also had a lot of what we call uncles around and they, they kept me straight. You know, I, ultimately, you know, we're afraid of that butt whooping that we were going to get, but, <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it was just the, the thought of just like, you know, hey, we, we need to do right. I want to make sure, you know, we did do right. Because in a, in a sense, we are a reflection of our parents. Right? And, and, you know, how would that make them feel if we, you know, were to be arrested? You know, that looks so bad on them. That's their name we're carrying. So, yeah. yeah. And also in our town, we we represented African American men. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like a lot of folks did not know any other black guys other than us, me, me, you, and yeah. your cousin, and, and yeah. your brother. You know what I mean. And so and so I I felt like that was a lot of pressure on on my my character, on my athletic ability, on my yeah. my my education, on my, and what I do and what I do in the classroom. Did you did you ever feel that that pressure? Because you never acted like you felt it. Did you <laughs> uh, yeah, in a sense, I did. You know, I always made sure, though, that, you know, again, if we did the, the right thing, we showed love and tried to treat everyone with respect and just do good. I felt like we were just, you know, in a, in a, in a good place, in a good area that uh, we were able to, to do, do what's best instead of doing the worst things possible. You know, I mean, obviously there's opportunities for us to screw up. I mean, we're young kids and young and dumb, sure. but for the most part, we, we chose the correct path, you know, the, the smarter things like, Hey, you know what? Nah, let's not do that, man. Let's go ahead and, and let's stay on the right path and let's, let's get out of here. Yeah, man. And you know what? Out of our whole group, to my knowledge, you was the first one to get married. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I know, I know, I was like, what are you doing? What, 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 what do you know? What is wrong? Right? And like, and like now you're in a situation, I mean, you talked about, you know, growing up without your father in the home, you know, yeah. now you're in a situation where, where you have your wife, your, your child, you know, you, you got a house, this is the, the biggest house I've ever seen you live in. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Like, like yeah. you have, you have all of these things. And, and, and I guess I, I, I gotta ask you, is there anything in your life right now that you feel like you've missed out on? That did you feel like there's something else you want to get? Because you seem super content, but is there anything else that you want? So, I mean, to answer that, yes, but I'll go deep on you. Well, you know, obviously, as you know, uh, my brother, Stefan, he passed, as you know, from cancer about four or five years ago. So, you know, if, if that was one thing I could do, I wish I had more time with him, you know, obviously um, to sit, to sit with him and just, uh, you know, because if you know, someone's going to pass, you know, you want to make sure you spend as much time and everything else as you could, you know, you go back and start thinking, you know, what, you know, what about those times where he wanted to hang out? I'm like, man, I can't do it. You know, do you feel bad about that? Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's not, that's not what he wanted um, to do wanted me to do you know he he want he would want me to look back and say hey we had some amazing memories even though they were shorter than what they should have been you know um and I'll, I'll always remember that and that's why we we still try to as you know keep his name alive yeah. as, by doing a scholarship which i really appreciate the love and support you give for that um that we um support at loveland high yeah. school no no and, and and just to let you know if I can yeah. talk about one thing that I missed out on, like one thing I wish I had, it would yeah. be your calves. You know what I mean? Because you got, you got, I look like I missed leg day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you, you would hold, you would way more deep than where I was at on that. But, but I got to tell you, it's been an honor to see you run your brother's foundation. I mean, that has to be super difficult 
yeah how, how do you how do you get how do you do that how do you do it well i will say i have a, a ton of love and support from everyone but i, I can honestly say I, I can't as you know couldn't do it without the Bronners. you know what what they really do um is amazing so so i have to definitely tip my hat off to them um but I will go back to what you said about my calves. As you know, you remember when you first met me how how overweight I was. I just I walked and ran ran my bike everywhere. So that's how that developed naturally and still to this day allow me to have that. So yeah, I remember you used to walk three miles to my neighborhood. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. You know, every day. Every day. Yeah, each yeah. way. Each way was three yeah, miles. Yeah. Sometimes I come home and come back to you. I would. Yeah, yeah that's so true. And mm-hmm. I and the reason why my calves didn't look that way is I was getting a ride. You know, what I'm <laughs> or I wasn't going. You know, what I'm <laughs> hey, I got I got I got to put this out there because the Stefan yes, Tally Scholarship is something that's super special. And there's gonna be people that are gonna watch this that want to yeah. know how to get involved. And in, and this is my, this is my last question: If someone out there wants to get involved in your brother's scholarship, how do they do so? Um, well, you know, we do have, um, uh, we do try to do something once a year where we, you know, raise money, um, for the scholarship. Um, another thing you can always donate. Um, we have, you know, just a, you know, cause it's a small organization and we're not trying to do anything too crazy. We have, um, something on Facebook as far as, you know, the rally for tally, um, um, Facebook. Um, and I'm trying to think of what else we do. I mean, you can obviously go, you know, donate at the at the bank or get a hold of me um, or yourself about other ways to donate. We don't have anything like a, a formal website or anything like that, though. But we just are, are loving what we're doing and just, like I said, keeping his name alive and and hope he's, he's smiling down on us, man, because, you know, the love of everyone coming together. It's just been amazing. And I've, I've been to some of your events, you know, and, yeah. and to see, I mean, interracial, right? Uh, multiple yeah. socioeconomic statuses. Yeah. I mean, it all coming together for this one great cause. I, I, I'm i honored that you allow me to be involved in it. You know, like it's uh, a beautiful man, I appreciate thing, it. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate the love, love you show and the support. It's amazing. It really is. Thank you, man. Thank you. So world, I just want you to know that you could be a tough guy. You could be a cool guy. But you got to be special to be a gentle guy. Thank you so much for being involved in what we're doing. Blair, say goodbye to the world. Goodbye, guys. Thanks for having me, Nick. I appreciate it, man. No problem. Much love. Much love.